Earlier this evening, I spoke to the chairman of the Education Committee, Mervyn Storey. I began by asking him why some children were being denied a nursery place. Well, I think that what has happened over a number of years has been the changeover from this responsibility having initially been with the Department of Health, not to six strategy has been the responsibility of health. But in 2006, that changed. It came under the responsibility of the Department of Education. And we've had a number of reports, the PAC report and the Northern Ireland Audit Office, who have looked at the pre-expansion programme. So do these children fall between two stools, two departments, so to speak? Uh, initially, they have in the early years but now we have a situation where this is the responsibility of the Department of Education. But the criteria that's set for admissions, I think, clearly disadvantages uh, older children. So if you have a birthday which is after Christmas, you will ultimately not be able to find a place. While the department will tell us that uh, somewhere in the region of 90% of places have been fulfilled, you have a degree of anomalies across the system in relation to the criteria that's used, in relation to the age of the child and location. So why will the Department of Education then not take control? Well, I think that one of the serious issues is that the not to six strategy was uh, promised many years ago. In fact, over four years, we waited for the not to six strategy. But this is no comfort to the people who are waiting today who are frustrated because they cannot get their children into a nursery of their choice, the Ab nearest nursery. Absolutely, and I think it is not acceptable that we have a situation where policy is preventing access to pre-education uh, mm. uh, provision because we are told by the experts that those are the important years and clearly from the audit report, from the PAC report and from the Chief Inspector mm. of Schools we have a clear direction that early intervention is critical and essential. But, but so, are you, can, can I just be clear about this and ask you the question, is the Department of Education then not up to the job? Well, I get continually frustrated with uh, policy after policy but no delivery. For those parents who have either not had a place or for those parents who have been told yes we can provide you a place but it'll be 40 miles away from your home, mm. I don't think that that is a good way for a department to be running an educational service. So can you deliver change? Well I think a change has to be delivered, it's not the matter, can you uh, could we deliver change? Yes, change mm. has to be delivered and they, these are the issues that parents listening to this programme tonight want real change in. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, the Minister talks about change, but it's ideologically driven. How long, These how long are will real this take? Issues. How long will it take? I think that the criteria needs to be uh, fundamentally uh, addressed because it currently disadvantages uh, older children. Mm. And I think that there needs to be put in place a fair mm. level playing field how long? between... Well, within months, it, the legislation could be changed, but there has to be leadership from the Minister, and on this issue, and on a variety of issues, that leadership has been lacking. Mervyn Storey, thank you.